Well, we found a lot of people out on frozen lakes and ponds today before the warm-up makes it unsafe to do so. NBC5's Carolyn Sistrand is live in Burlington, downtown Burlington, with what officials are saying about ice conditions this weekend. Carolyn? Yes, still is. I'm not sure if you can see behind me, but Lake Champlain here in Burlington is not frozen, but some smaller lakes and ponds across the state are, but that's sure to change as temperatures warm up. Since 630 Friday morning, Mark Obe and his family have been out ice fishing on Moncton Pond. We come out here quite a bit during the wintertime. Knowing that it may likely be the last trip they can make out on the ice for at least a few days, if not a few weeks. It's a little punky out there now. There's still four, four or five good inches of ice out there, but it, by tomorrow you're not going to have much when this rain comes. It's Warm temperatures heading into the new year has Vermont Fish and Wildlife emphasizing even more to practice ice safety. On the sides right now, that's going to be a lot warmer, so the ice is going to be a lot thinner right there. First, you want to check the condition of the ice. Walk out. Poking so a spud bar into the ice every few steps, making sure it doesn't break the surface. If it goes through, go back. It's really as simple as that. If you determine it's safe to keep going, the next step is to drill a hole. We use this tool, a hand auger. When we drill a hole, you'll be able to look through the layers and you're going to see uh, a layer that's really like dark black ice. That's your good ice. Vermont Fish and Wildlife also say you should carry picks like this with you in case you fall through the ice and wear them around your neck for easy access in an emergency. Ob says tools like picks and gear like ice cleats have helped him stay safe in the many years he's hit the ice. When you push them into the ice, the, the pit digs in so you get actually something to grab onto. But for now, he's hanging up the equipment until the forecast can promise below freezing temperatures. Vermont Fish and Wildlife say it's also a good idea to maybe stop by some local bait shops. They have anglers that are walking in and out all day, updating the employees there on ice conditions. And they also say if you want more ideas on ice safety tips, you can head on over to their website. In Burlington, Carolyn Sistran, NBC5 News.